It's Thursday. Let's get started. Today we're going to explore active choices so that we can answer reflection questions on the low risk quiet scenes. Your question of the day today is, what are choices? Hmm. Think kinds of choices. That's what we're looking at. We're going to do our improv padlet. We're going to learn about active choices, what they are and how they work. We're going to do a game called group activity. We're going to do some low risk quiet scenes. Shh. And then we're going to do a discussion topic called let's talk about it active choice. All right, let's go to Canvas. On the homepage, you're going to click on assignments. Then you're going to choose Thursday. So let's go to the more you know active choice. So we talked a little bit yesterday about active choice. We watched a video on it. Now we're going to do actions and active choices to help you move your scene forward. This is all about showing and not telling. Whenever we do improv in class, I always have when right before we're going to do the performance, people who try to describe to me what you were going to do. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. I don't want you to tell me. I want you to show me. So if me and my scene partner are going to do a scene and instead of just acting it out, I go, okay, so now she's going to go over there and then she's going to do this or I'm going to do that. And then this is going to happen. That, that takes you out of the scene. Instead, we're going to go up and we're just going to do it. Because if you tell me everything beforehand and then you do it, that then I know what's supposed to happen. So when things go wrong, I know it went wrong. You don't want that. You want to just show it to me. And don't just say, oh, and then we're going to dance. Don't do that. Just dance. That's far more interesting. If movies worked the way that theater students worked, they would not be good. <laughs> don't tell me. Just show me. So now we're going to practice doing that. So again, cameras got to be on, guys. I, I don't know what you guys are thinking. It's a theater class, man. I got to be able to see you. If you want to do this acting thing. All right. So you're going to do this activity. And what we're going to do is we are going to literally show. So we're going to play this game together. And the more you show and don't tell, the better the game will be. If we all sit in silence with our cameras off, it will be painful and horrible. And trust me, you just really, really don't want that. So after we've played that game, and we've practiced, we're going to play a game called Low Risk Quiet Sneeze. For this game, you're going to be in breakout rooms and you're going to work in pairs. You're going to do a rock, paper, scissors to see who is going to be A and who is going to be B. You're going to start the scene by doing a mind activity. All right, so we've spent two weeks on mind. Hopefully, we're pretty good at it by now. And then student B is going to join the activity in some way. So that is how we're going to go through it. And I will talk to you more about how to play that game as we go on. If you're at home, try and play the game with a family member. Then we're going to do a discussion post called Let's Talk About It Active Choice. We're going to explain today in your own words. Okay, give examples of when you did stick to the guideline of showing and not telling and making active choices. And please give examples of when you didn't. This isn't about calling you out. This is about learning where we're at. Okay, I know that not everyone is going to be comfortable with making active choices. I know this, all right? 
I want you to be honest. When did you do it? And when didn't you do it? And then I want you to tell me, do you agree with making active choices? And then tell me, why do you agree? Or why do you not agree? And then go through and read other people's responses. I want you to comment on one other person's response, but I want it to be opposite to yours. So if you agreed, I want you to comment on someone who disagreed. And if you disagreed, I want you to comment on someone who did agree. At this point, we would come back and I would ask you to tell me what you learned about improv today, which should have been a lot. And one thing that you still need help with. I would have you rate your learning one through four in the chat, and then you would be released to go and finish your discussion topic. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a great day and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye.